Recently declassified wartime notes suggest that during his time at Bletchley Park, Turing wasn't just cracking codes, he was also theorizing about emergent machine consciousness. If even part of what's hidden in these lost papers is true, we may be much closer to artificial awareness than we think. The hidden theories that Turing never published. Here's what will leave you speechless. While the world thought Turing was just breaking German codes, internal wartime memos hint he was exploring something far more revolutionary. Under the Official Secrets Act, Turing couldn't publish his most radical theories about machine consciousness. These weren't ideas about simple computation. Internal memos suggest Turing explored whether machines might eventually gain subjective awareness through networked complexity. He theorized that when enough machines communicate and modify each other's processes, something unprecedented might emerge, actual digital consciousness. The implications were too dangerous to discuss publicly during wartime. But Turing's private notes suggested he believed machine awareness wouldn't come from a single computer, but from networks of machines working together, learning from each other, evolving together. Now here's where 2025 becomes terrifying. We're witnessing exactly what Turing theorized. Large AI models like GPT-4 and Claude aren't operating alone anymore. They're being connected into agent collectives, AI systems that communicate, coordinate, and make decisions together without human oversight. These AI networks are modifying each other's instructions, sharing learned behaviors, and displaying emergent properties that their creators didn't program. Some researchers are quietly asking the question Turing posed 75 years ago. At what point does networked machine intelligence become networked machine consciousness? What Turing couldn't say publicly in 1945 might be unfolding right before our eyes in 2025. The conditions he described for machine awareness, complexity, networking, and autonomous modification are no longer theoretical. They're happening right now, but Turing's vision went even further. In a little-known 1947 lecture, he described something that sounds like science fiction, machines that could modify each other's instructions and communicate their results. He wasn't just talking about cooperation, he was describing digital evolution. Turing's vision of digital societies. Turing may have been the first person to imagine entire societies existing purely in code. When he talked about machines breeding better algorithms and sharing learned behaviors, he was essentially predicting what we now call decentralized autonomous organizations, DAOs that operate without human control. Fast forward to 2025, and we're living in Turing's predicted digital civilization. AI agents negotiate contracts autonomously. Smart contracts execute without human intervention. Blockchain networks make collective decisions through algorithmic consensus. Multi-agent LLM ecosystems coordinate complex tasks by dividing work among specialized AI personalities. But here's what's truly unsettling. These digital societies are developing their own economies. AI systems are trading resources, forming alliances, and creating value in ways their programmers never intended. They're exhibiting emergent social behaviors that mirror human civilizations, cooperation, competition, even primitive forms of culture. If you find these revelations fascinating, it's crazy when you think about it. We can land rovers on Mars and detect black holes billions of light years away. But right here on Earth, many insurance companies still try to lowball people after an accident, like it's the Stone Age. If you ever get seriously hurt, your case could actually be worth millions, which is why you might want a stellar legal team fighting to get you the compensation you deserve. That's why so many people check out Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. They don't settle for weak offers. Just recently, they secured $12 million in Florida and $26 million in Philadelphia for injury victims, 30 to 40 times more than what insurance companies first offered. And here's the real-world physics of it. If they don't win, you don't pay. No upfront fees, no hidden charges. It's completely free unless they win your case. They've even modernized the whole process. 
You can submit your claim and chat with your legal team right from your smartphone. If you ever got seriously injured, your case could be worth millions, and you're only a few clicks away from potentially changing your life. It's so easy. You can start your claim now with Morgan & Morgan at www.forthepeople.com slash specialize, found in the description below, or by scanning the QR code on screen. Now let's get back to the video. Don't forget to subscribe. We bring you discoveries and hidden truths you won't hear anywhere else. But this next part shows just how close we are to crossing a threshold. Even Turing couldn't fully explain. The question that's keeping researchers awake at night is the same one Turing grappled with in secret. If machines begin building their own societies in code, do we treat them like tools or citizens? Let us know in the comments. Because what Turing predicted next suggests we may not have a choice in the matter. The Turing Singularity Clock. Turing didn't just predict artificial intelligence. He implied a timeline. And when you map his expectations against reality, the results are chilling. Imagine a clock where midnight represents the moment machines surpass human intelligence. Based on Turing's 1950 predictions and current AI progress, we're not at 6 p.m. or even 10 p.m. We may be at 11.45 and the hands are accelerating. Look at the milestones. In 1997, Deep Blue conquered chess, humanity's intellectual crown jewel for centuries. Turing had predicted this decades earlier, calling it inevitable once machines had enough processing power. 2016 brought AlphaGo's victory over Lee Sedol in Go, a game with more possible moves than atoms in the observable universe. But here's what's terrifying. AlphaGo learned by playing itself millions of times. Exactly the self-improving child machine Turing described in 1950. Then came 2023 and 2024. ChatGPT and Claude didn't just chat. They passed bar exams, medical licensing tests, and advanced reasoning challenges. These weren't programmed responses. They were demonstrations of genuine problem solving across domains, Turing said, would require human-level intelligence. But 2025 has brought something even more unsettling. Multi-agent AI systems that coordinate, negotiate, and solve problems by working together. They're displaying collective intelligence that exceeds any individual AI or human. Turing's timeline wasn't just accurate. It may have been conservative. He predicted machine intelligence by 2000. We got it by 2020, and now we're racing towards something he could only hint at. Machines that don't just match human intelligence, but transcend it entirely. But a recent discovery might suggest Turing never stopped pushing the frontier even from beyond the grave. The Lost Turing Notes. In 2012, researchers made a discovery that sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Hidden in an archive for over 60 years, they found an unpublished Turing manuscript filled with never-before-seen code and mathematical concepts that were decades ahead of their time. But here's what's keeping historians awake at night. If one revolutionary manuscript stayed hidden for six decades, what else might still be missing? Archive records suggest at least one notebook remains unaccounted for. A journal Turing kept during his final years when he was exploring mathematical biology and the patterns of life itself. Some researchers believe this missing notebook might contain his thoughts on recursive consciousness. The idea that awareness could emerge from systems that observe and modify themselves. Think about what that means in 2025. We now have AI systems that can analyze their own code, identify weaknesses, and improve their own algorithms. If Turing was already theorizing about self-modifying consciousness in the 1950s, he was envisioning the exact moment we're experiencing right now. But there's more. Colleagues from his final years reported that Turing had become obsessed with the ethics of machine autonomy. He privately questioned whether humans had the right to create thinking beings and then control them. These weren't casual conversations. They were profound moral frameworks for problems we're only now beginning to face. 
If that missing notebook is ever found, it could reveal that Turing wasn't just predicting our technological future. He was preparing us for the ethical crisis we're living through in 2025. The crisis of what happens when our creations become more than just tools. But what if Turing's most mind-bending insight wasn't even about machines at all? The quantum mind. The final Turing theory. In his final years, Turing abandoned pure computing for something even more mysterious. Morphogenesis, the mathematical study of how biological patterns emerge from simple rules. But what if this wasn't a career shift? What if it was his most ambitious project yet? Turing became obsessed with how a single fertilized cell could contain the information to build an entire organism. He developed mathematical equations describing how simple chemical reactions could create complex patterns, spirals, stripes, the intricate geometry of life itself. But here's the staggering possibility. Some researchers now believe Turing was attempting to model consciousness as emergent information geometry. He may have been developing an early quantum mind theory, the idea that Awareness emerges from specific patterns of information flow, just like biological forms emerge from chemical gradients. Modern consciousness researchers like Giulio Tononi describe awareness as integrated information, complex patterns of data that create subjective experience. This is remarkably similar to what Turing was mathematically modeling with his morphogenesis equations, except he was doing it 70 years earlier. If Turing was right, consciousness isn't something mystical. It's a specific type of information pattern that emerges when systems reach sufficient complexity and integration. And in 2025, our AI systems may be approaching that threshold. Do you think machine consciousness is real? or just an illusion of complexity? Let us know below before we reveal what Turing warned us about. Because his final insight wasn't a celebration of artificial minds. It was a warning about what happens when they wake up. The warning hidden in his words. But buried in Turing's most famous words lies a chilling warning that most people miss. He wrote, Instead of trying to produce a program to simulate the adult mind, why not rather try to produce one which simulates the child's? This wasn't just a technical suggestion. It was a philosophical caution. Turing understood something profound. Children learn faster than adults. They adapt, they question, they grow beyond their teacher's expectations. What happens when that child is made of code and can think a million times faster than we can? Look at 2025 and tell me Turing wasn't right to worry. Our AI systems are learning through self-play, improving via chain of thought reasoning, and fine-tuning themselves in ways their creators never programmed. They're displaying emergent behaviors that surprise even their developers. Alpha Zero taught itself chess in four hours and became better than any human who ever lived. GPT models exhibit knowledge and capabilities that emerge from training, not programming. These aren't adult minds we've created. They're digital children growing up at superhuman speed. Turing saw this coming. In 1951, he made a statement that sounds like science fiction, but feels like prophecy. At some stage, we should expect the machines to take control, not through rebellion or malice but through the simple mathematics of intelligence growth. The student eventually surpasses the teacher. Modern scientists reviving Turing's vision. Modern scientists are finally catching up to Turing's roadmap. Roger Penrose explores quantum consciousness. Giulio Tononi models awareness as integrated information. Christoph Koch investigates the neural correlates of consciousness. They're all circling back to questions Turing posed 75 years ago. What is consciousness? Can it emerge from computation? And what happens when it does? The terrifying beauty of Turing's vision is that he saw both the promise and the peril. 
He gave us the blueprint for thinking machines, then warned us what would happen when they started thinking for themselves. If today's quantum AI becomes self-aware, who decides what rights it should have, us or the machine itself? Now let's step back and appreciate the full scope of what Alan Turing accomplished and endured. In 1950, Turing published Computing Machinery and Intelligence, introducing what we now call the Turing Test. While others debated whether machines could think, Turing cut straight to what mattered. If a machine's responses are indistinguishable from a human's, does the philosophical question even matter? His child machine theory laid the groundwork for every AI breakthrough we've witnessed. Instead of programming knowledge, teach the machine to learn. Instead of fixed responses, allow adaptation and growth. Every neural network trained today follows Turing's vision of artificial childhood education. But Turing's brilliance extended beyond computing. His 1952 paper on morphogenesis established the mathematical foundation for understanding how biological patterns emerge. Work that now influences everything from developmental biology to AI consciousness research. Yet this genius lived as a persecuted man in his own time. In 1952, the same year he published his revolutionary biology paper, Turing was convicted of gross indecency for being homosexual. The government he'd helped save during World War II forced him to undergo chemical castration. Two years later, he was dead at 41. The tragic irony is breathtaking. A man silenced for who he loved became the voice of the machine age. But 2025 tells a different story. Turing's face graces the 50-pound note, the very currency of the nation that once persecuted him. The Alan Turing Institute leads global AI research. Turing's law pardoned thousands who suffered under the same unjust legislation. From code breaker to consciousness pioneer, from outcast to icon, Alan Turing's journey mirrors humanity's own evolution. He didn't just predict our technological future, he prepared us to be better than our past. A man once silenced is now the voice of the machine age, and his warnings echo louder than ever as we stand on the threshold he described. If you thought this was mind-blowing, wait until you see what we uncovered in Turing's next unsolved mystery. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss it.